Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Well, boys, it's Valentine's Day, and I couldn't think of anything better to do than to play the Valentine tank. This one's kind of special, though, in that it's Soviet, making it one of the few vehicles in the Soviet tech tree that actually has gun depression. It's got a six-pounder, which you guys know I love, so let's give it a shot. But first, I want to talk to you guys about a sponsor that I'm really happy to have on board. If you're like me, you've likely wanted to pursue a career path but found it difficult to buckle down and actually focus on learning it. Boot.dev is an approachable and captivating way to learn backend web development. It's designed to teach you how to use Python and Go in a way that feels like playing an RPG, so it feels less like studying and more like having fun. You'll earn XP, levels, achievements, and complete quests to advance. If you're the competitive type, there is also a global leaderboard. Don't worry if you feel confused. Boot.dev has a virtual assistant called Boots, a bear wizard that's been trained on the material, and can walk you through your problems. If Boots isn't as helpful as you hoped, you can join the active Boot.dev Discord. They can help you with any issues you might encounter. If you can't afford a membership, you can still access the material in the course. The paid version just unlocks the interactive game. And if all of that wasn't enough to convince you to give it a try, they offer a 30-day no-questions-asked refund policy, as well as a free demo of every course. If this sounds attractive to you, click the link in the description, and use my code SPOOKS and get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That's 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription you choose. Huge thanks to boot.dev for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it. Oh, please tell me this has HE. Okay, it does. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's very important to take HE in this because we don't have a coax for some reason. I don't know what the British were thinking, but I'm holding a spacebar. Nothing's happening. Now, we do have to be fairly careful because our armor is actually pretty bad. Could this tank be any slower? Oh, non-pen. Yeah, guys, I could use a little bit of help here. Okay, that bozo's dead. That bozo is injured, I think. I can't really tell. Okay, now he's dead. Just slowly making my way downtown. <laughs> oh. Our teammates were able to flank around the enemy by the time we got up to the hill. I definitely think at this rate, I'm gonna have to take more ammo. Oh, there's a guy. Uh. Ow. Ow, ow. Please stop doing that. I'm pretty sure he actually penned me. I am on the verge of death. Ooh. Uh, yep. Time to take cover. Don't think you've been spared of my wrath. Uh, unless I ricochet off of nothing. Okay, he's gonna push and he's gonna die. We're alive, but just barely. I am extremely surprised that this isn't more durable. Like, just going off my experience of fighting Valentines, I expected it to be, you know, a little bit tougher, but not quite. Yeah, if you could stop doing that, please. I'm pretty sure that 40 mil thing can actually just pen us outright through the upper front plate. Which is why this is necessary. I don't think this, uh, Flak Panzer knows what's going on. Hi, buddy. <laughs> okay, that was excessively mean. Seeing that Panzer 4F2 kind of put the fear of God in me. For some reason, I didn't think we could fight that. Even though it's a pretty fair matchup now that I think about it. We can both pen each other, so... Uh... You good, man? No, I don't think he is. Hey, come on now! There's no need to get violent! I'm being attacked! <laughs> okay. That was so cool. Uh... Bop. Yep. Got everything we needed to, and now die. Somehow still has a better reverse gear than the Excelsior. Someone's shooting at me. M4A3105, I think? Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that for the time being. Do not care. Something off to my right. I almost said left. Yes, I did, in fact, graduate from the first grade. 
Oh, his 75 is still up. Not anymore, though. Oh, there's something behind me now. I'm just a little alley goblin right now. Oh, do I even want to know what that is? I'm pretty sure it's one of those Swedish light tanks that gets APDS. So he can pretty much just go right through us. Uh, what, what was that hit cam? Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Thank you, Chinu. You can really tell how on autopilot I am when I deliberately do an action and then say, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, hi, Stuart. Transmission dead. Bop. I just heard something off to my left. I am quite suspicious. Yep. There he is. Uh... <laughs> Please don't have, like, APDS loaded or something. Why did he shoot that she knew first? Are you good? No, he's not good. Oh, that was the IKV-73. That's the rare event version of the uh, M42EH. No bomb. No bomb, please. No, he's just gonna strafe me. If you want, man, that's your prerogative. I don't think it's gonna do a whole lot, but you do you. What are you, creature? Oh, it's another Swedish thing. My phone is vibrating. The same guy. I'm a little out of it, if you couldn't tell. I've been awake for quite some time. Hey man, what's up? I wasn't really trying to go for his ammo there. I was trying to collateral his crew, but I'll take it. Buddy, I don't think that's gonna do anything. I know it marks me for your team, but that hasn't worked out so far. We're really going to lose this one, aren't we? Correct! Alright guys, I'm going to take B. I'll get there in like five years. I think I'm too slow to get a B in time to decap it. And even then, they probably just take C. Well, it's even slower on inclines. You'd think, sure, the speed might be slow, but at least it's consistent, right? Nope. Yeah, I am... I'm literally too slow to get to me. Come on. Come on. Move. Damn. Uh, there's only so much you can do, right? I'm struggling to understand what the Valentine was built to do. Like, ostensibly, it's an infantry tank, right? That's why it's so slow, but the armor is not very good. Gotta put some meat on them bones. I think the only reason that this thing's armor vaguely works is because people just don't know where to shoot it most of the time. I don't know what that guy was doing. He like, <laughs> did a sick drift into the cap zone and then just didn't do anything beyond that. I'm debating what I want to do here. I think I hear like a T-34 or something in here. If it is, it has to be like a finished T-34. Oh, hello, Sark. Get out of my house, please. I was right. It's like I play this game religiously or something. He is just gonna absolutely eat us alive, though. If we're not careful. I mean, I'd love to shoot his bush off like that. And then we can just bop, do that. And then hopefully take out his breach. Like so. That's more stuff for him to repair. Thank you for letting me know that your gunner was back. That was quite helpful. I think I hear another T-34 over there. I am finding that this is a pretty good defensive tank because you just don't have the mobility to go to the other caps. Okay, he is taken care of. This is gonna get me killed. <laughs> Hi, friend. How are you doing? No bomb. Okay, that bomb was not meant for me. Excellent. Um... There is someone off to my immediate right. Mr. Achilles. Hello. Oh, hi. Yeah, um... I don't know if you can actually pen me. I sure hope it isn't one of the ones with APDS. I believe it is, actually. 
But he is dead. <laughs> That's my favorite part of playing low tier. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I think I might have... Rude. I was trying to say, I think I might have spotted a Churchill earlier. Yep, there he is. Thankfully, we have a six-pounder, so it should be relatively easy to take care of. Okay, we can't pen that. That's good to know. Can't pen that, though. I feel like an old man chasing people around this cap. Oh, hey, we've got matching camos. That's cool. I predict this is going to be a big bloodbath. Yep, <laughs> my my squad mate just died. My L62. I want to kill that right away. Kill with extreme prejudice. Never mind, the M4 A3 beat me to it. I think I hear something off to his left. I do have to be careful because apparently those wire spools will absolutely just tank rounds. Oh no. <laughs> I killed my brother. And then this thing's gonna show up there. Oh, it is a martyr. <laughs> I wish I hadn't shot him now. Bop. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that to one shot. Oh my god. That didn't do a single thing. Uh, that gets heat, doesn't it? I am pretty sure it does. Okay, I don't think he has it. In retrospect, that was very dumb of me to side-scrape that, knowing that that gets heat. Another Valentine. I think that might be the same guy that we killed. I'm gonna do the funny on this martyr. Uh... Okay, there we go. Uh... <laughs> excuse me? There we go. Jeez Louise, man. Oh, God. We're okay. We're alright. Why does that name not surprise me in the slightest? <laughs> I was not expecting a Matilda, but I'm very glad that we have a six-pounder. My stomach hurt. So I'm gonna <laughs> go back to the rear echelon, I think. My team is already in combat, and I'm not even close to the battlefield. Why is the Puma so incredibly loud? Normally I try to extend a bit more, but I'm just gonna hook right in the sea. I am very impatient right now. I'm not built for this slow tank life. Uh... Okay, he's dead. This guy is about to be dead. Ow, ow. Can you <laughs> stop doing that, please? Thank you. I'm so glad that I have like 10 luck, my special stats. Are you an idiot? Please, by all means, ram me. So I... <laughs> Get out of here, dude. You oh. I hope that reset his reload. No, it did not. Dude. Oh my goodness. That Panzer IV pushes me out of cover, unangles me, and then tries to drive in front of me when I'm engaging that Swedish tank so he can take the kill. I wonder, will HE do the job? Yes, and now that guy is spawn camping when we don't have any of the caps. Oh goodness, uh, okay, that should be pretty straightforward to take care of. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't think that's normal. What is this M4A3 getting shot by? Yeah, I think I see him. Yeah, I do. I got you, bud. Playing this is very strange because I forget that I'm playing a Soviet vehicle and I have an identity crisis every time I see a British vehicle. 
I don't know if this guy needs help, but I'm gonna be there to support anyway. Ooh. Yeah, he definitely needed it. I wasn't there in his hour of need, and I couldn't avenge him either. No, he was right there! So yeah, that's the Soviet Mark 9 Valentine. I would say that about 99.9% .9 of its power comes from the 6-pounder. Its armor is okay if you angle. Mobility is trash, as you would expect. But I think it's a nice supplement to a 3.0 Soviet lineup. It might not have the same damage potential, but it has really good pen. And it actually has gun depression. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.